British cyclist Laura Kenny, formerly Laura Trot, is in my personal view Britain's greatest ever athlete. Now, while her husband Jason Kenny won seven golds and Chris Hoyer won six golds, are the only athletes to win more Olympic golds than Laura. Laura's record of five Olympic golds eclipses all other British female athletes and she would likely have won more than the single gold at the Tokyo 2020 Games, which were delayed until August 2021 due to COVID, if not for the injury problems that she suffered in the previous year. Now, last week, Laura announced her retirement. Now, in April 2021, Laura publicly revealed the tragedies that she'd suffered shortly after those Olympics. So in November 2021, she suffered a miscarriage and in January 2022, she suffered an ectopic pregnancy. Now, when Laura revealed these tragedies on the 22nd of April 2022, I put out a Twitter thread reminding people of a previous blog post that I'd published just a month and a half before, asking why the UK HSA, that's the UK Health Security Agency, in their COVID-19 surveillance reports, were putting out potentially highly misleading data on pregnancy outcomes by vaccine status. The problem was that instead of comparing bad outcomes like miscarriage and stillbirths for the vaccine against unvaccinated women, they grouped all the unvaccinated with those vaccinated prior to but not during pregnancy so there was a single no doses in pregnancy category so in comparing pregnancy outcomes this no doses in pregnancy category was kind of like used as a surrogate for the unvaccinated and in the twitter thread i said as a very timely example of the problems with the uk hsa reporting today one of britain's leading athletes who won gold at the tokyo olympics in august 2021 revealed she suffered a miscarriage in november 2021 and ectopic pregnancy in mid january 2022 she would have had to be double vaccinated shortly before the games to be allowed to take part now while there may be no reason to suspect the vaccine had anything to do with these two unfortunate outcomes both would have been classified in the UK HSA no doses in pregnancy category, i.e. that's the surrogate unvaccinated category. Now, of course, the athlete I was talking about was uh, Laura Kenny. Now, while it was apparently not a mandatory requirement for all countries' athletes to be vaccinated in order to attend the Tokyo Olympics, it was mandatory for all British athletes to be fully vaccinated. This means that Laura Kenny will certainly have received at least two doses of the COVID-19 shortly before August 2021. Now, as her miscarriage was nine weeks into pregnancy in November 2021, this confirms what I said in my tweet. Both this miscarriage and the subsequent ectopic pregnancy would have been recorded by UK HSA in the no doses in pregnancy category, along with the never vaccinated. Now, again, as I said in my tweet, I've no reason to suspect the vaccine had anything to do with Laura's unfortunate outcomes. However, once again, this reminds us not just of the extent to which the government has gone to obfuscate possible vaccine adverse reactions, but also the insanity that led to the strongest and fittest people in Great Britain being forced to take a useless vaccine that they never needed and for which even then there were many known signals. And more pertinently, to this day, the full V-safe pregnancy data has never been released. Now, obviously, I'd be happy to clarify or correct any of the information in this video if Laura wants to contact me about it.